What's good, YouTube? It's your boy the Gamer 870 here, back with another banger. I know you see it, that Cortland Sutton sitting in the middle of my top three intimidating people because he's a 99, so people are probably going to pay a little bit more attention to him, which is fine. But um, this card, I mean, this player has, he's a he's theme team-ish. I noticed his Sam Mills was a Bronco card, and he had a Bryce Callahan. So he's theme team-ish out here. Um, but I don't think it's going to, well, this game is not going to take long. And I just want to show you just the difference that having an, a 99 outside receiver can have on your team. Just the difference. Okay. Now you all know usually I come out and I, I run the ball first play. But I was shooting for content. So I was shooting for content, right? So I decided I was going to come out and try something a little bit different. When he made this adjustment, I knew he was good as beat. Vernon Davis is a 98 speed. You can't cover a 98 speed if you're out of position. You just can't do it. Not going to be able to do it. So, um, I don't know what that thought process or rationale was, but I'm not upset that he did it. You know, more power to you. More power to you. But Tebow made the throw is the, is the news of that. Tebow made the proper throw. Um, thank you, Tebow. Because he's been, he hadn't been the most accurate person. So now stopping his his offense is the objective at hand. Now I always come out with a base, try to make sure that I can at least be everywhere. And anytime you get hit for seventy five yards on an opening play, your intention is to come out and do the same thing back to the person that just did it to you. I'm not dumb. I, I know that that's his, his goal, which is fine, which is fine. But he threw the ball to no offense. So I'm seeing Broncos and Seahawks because he has Russell Wilson. I'm trying to figure out his his, his team rationale, but I, I, I it's not important. Um, the, what, what's important is trying to stop his offense. He has some. He has a pretty good offense. I I like how he uses. I mean, he uses user playmaker. Usually, the people that use user playmaker are those that also you have to be very careful of because they are usually the ones that come at you with that tight end delay mess. I can stop tight end delay, and I'm going to release a video on how you can too, but it's just annoying having to make all of those critical adjustments to avoid a play from going off. So with that in mind, he's coming back, and that was a horrible defense. I had He had three open wide receivers all over there, and I didn't have anybody. So great, great play by him, horrible defense by me. So now we are on first and ten, and um, one thing that I have picked up on: anytime you are playing against someone who uses user playmaker, this I'm gonna give you this one for free. I'm gonna give you this tip for free. Always take your defender and go underneath that route. And Champ Bailey was filthy with that. He didn't touch him down either. So, Chad Bailey is now playing safety for me. And, um, yeah. Pretty much ball game there. He, he, he's done. He, he doesn't want to play anymore. I lost my friend. Goodbye. All that good stuff. But with that being said, this is just hopefully um, a view of things to come. In the beard of the future, we have a lot of positive things coming out of Denver.
hopefully. We're out of Denver's theme team. I'm talking like I'm actually in Denver. But we are looking a lot better with that Cortland Sutton. I'm trying to get some Cortland Sutton gameplay. So with that in mind, you all continue to stay tuned. And um, I'll get you some more content here in the very near future. But don't forget to like, sub, and share. Peace.